what everything panda is going to teach us is data manipulation with pandas okay so what are we going to see here creating data frames importing the data as data frame what pandas is we are also going to check that and some basic checks and data right after the importing the data then we are going to see indexing and sampling what those things are then conditional filtering we if you want to filter out some data then subsetting means that we want to see you know create a subset of the data frame that we have been provided and then updating the rows and columns and add and remove some basic you know uh, changing operation or some modification operations and then we are going to see sorting and group by an aggregation which are pretty important topic for us and then we are going to see uh, exploring the data which is not going to be part here this is exploratory analysis which is not part of this whole session okay uh, let's see what pandas are so panda is a python library for data analysis and data manipulation it makes working with the tabular data very very easy it's going to give if we have mastered pandas our data manipulation skills are going to be like off the chart okay that's all we need mostly like 50 60 percent of the time you are just going to be working with the pandas if you're working with python data sets okay uh, it has two main type of object one is called series another one is called data frame we will see what the series are series and data frame is so if we have a table okay in the excel you have opened a table that table is actually a data frame that's the analogy we are going to take it's a two dimensional matrix it has all the columns and all the columns have some few values this is going to be called a data frame what is a series so each column is actually a series okay we will see those things when we import a data set we are i'm going to explain that what data frame and series how they are different series and data frame just remember that both series and data frame have their own functions okay and they behave in their own way that we have to always remember okay uh, let's move to the first part uh, creating a data frame so data frames are basically table like structures uh, we need uh, each column contained measurement or one variable okay uh, it has to have some values in a column rows contain the one case or one observation okay we will see those that part also uh, but first to run this file you need to execute this part you will get a code and you have to enter the code here so you will be able to mount your google drive and you will be able to uh, utilize the data sets now this path over here see what you are going to do is you are going to go here you go to your drive you go to my drive and you go to the course uh, wherever you have stored the data set that i have provided you for example for me it's here the intermediate python and then the project data set 2 this is my location of the my data set i'm going to go here right click on it copy the path and i'm going to write something like this path equal to this thing you have to just do that okay wherever your location of your data set is so you will be able to work with us okay let's move to the creating a data frame data frames are basically dictionaries okay dictionaries are also following the same order for example here i have a dictionary of name and there are four names here okay then i have age and there are four ages here okay now this is my column name this is my age which is also a column name can we just think of it like this like this is my column which is my key and then these are the four values there this is my again column age and there are four values in the age and i'm going to take pd dot data frame i'm going to pass in the dictionary which has been written in such way that it can be converted into a data frame and if i execute it i will be able to see it as a data frame all right i have not imported the pd okay so this is how we convert a dictionary into a data frame uh, there's one extra column here at the beginning. It's called index column. Okay, index actually help us actually access it. So, for example, if we had a, if we want, I want to access like there are two axes here also. Okay, these are the column axes, perfect, and these are the uh, index axes. If I want to access a column, I can call just with the name. If I have to, you know, access an observation, I will have to use this number. Okay, so this additional column that has been created here. It's going to help us call any observation or reach any observation that we want. That's why this the extra column is here. 